हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतन गर्ग आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर सीरीज कॉल्ड आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक इन दिस सीरीज वी डिस्कस प्रीवियस ईयर आर एम ओ क्वेश्चन राइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फर्स्ट सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ऑफ आर एम ओ नाइनटीन नाइनटी राइट आई होप आप लोगों को इस सीरीज में काफ़ी मजा आ रहा होगा बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू इन्फॉर्मेशन Currently here at Vedanta we are running separate batches for pre RMO, RMO, INMO, right? And uh, those who have not appeared for pre RMO yet, or unfortunately last year uh, in 2019, those who are unable to clear pre RMO, they can simply visit our website olympia dot vedanta dot com. Uh, here we have uh, given all the info information uh, regarding how you can enroll in pre RMO batches, right? And those who have already cleared pre RMO. or rmo batches they just need to mail me their name class their proof of clearing this exam uh, their contact number and their address to this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com right those who have cleared pre rmo exam we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo exam last year uh, we will simply enroll you in inmo batch right the most important thing these all batches are completely free of cost you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches all you need to do is just mail me your name class your contact number your address and obviously the proof that you have cleared this exam last year right so all right now let's start our session we will start question number 7 of year 1990 right तो एज यू कैन सी क्वेश्चन काफी बड़ा लग रहा है ना तो हम आराम से पहले क्वेश्चन को पढ़ते हैं फिर विल ट्राई टू फिगर इट आउट कि क्या ये क्वेश्चन कह रहा है राइट द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट अ सेंसस मैन ऑन ड्यूटी विजिटेड अ हाउस इन विच द लेडीज डिक्लाइन टू रिवील देयर इंडिविजुअल एजेस जैसा कि जनरली लेडीज डिक्लाइन कर ही देती है ना तो एज द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दे डिक्लाइन टू रिवील देयर इंडिविजुअल एजेस राइट बट द लेडीज सेट वी डो नॉट माइंड गिविंग यू द सम ऑफ द एजेस ऑफ एनी टू लेडीज Uh, you may choose right so the census man said in that case please give me the sum of ages of every possible pair of you right they gave the sum as follows on ladies ne uh, agree kiya census man census man ke sath hai na and they uh, gave every possible pair as 30 33 41 58 66 69 right the census man took these figures and happily went away now the question is how did he calculate the individual ages of the ladies from these six figures right so dekho uh, jo bachche uh, seriously is question ko try karna chahte hain just abhi video ko pause karo hai na take some time hai na 5 minutes 10 minutes lo aaram se aap apna is question ke liye solution solve karne ki koshish karo after that you can return back theek hai after that you can play the uh, video right i'll just explain the solution to jinhone already try kar liya they can see the solution jinhone abhi try nahi kiya i'll request you to please pause the video and start solving at your own right okay i'm explaining the solution the question is basically saying uh, क्वेश्चन में हमें अभी तक ये कहीं पर भी नहीं बताया कि हाउ मेनी वुमेन आर देयर है ना हाउ मेनी लेडीज आर देयर राइट बट इंडिविजुअली पेयर वाइज दे हैव गिवन दिस सिक्स फिगर्स नाउ लेट्स एज्यूम इफ देयर इज एन वुमेन्स तो एन सी टू पेयर्स एंड एन सी टू डिस्टिंग पेयर्स आर पॉसिबल एंड हाउ मेनी पेयर्स डू वी गेट सेंसस मैन गेट सिक्स पेयर्स एंड दिस सिंपली इम्प्लाइज एन इज इक्वल टू फोर बिकॉज फोर सी टू इज सिक्स तो फर्स्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी डिकॉर्ड इज नंबर ऑफ लेडीज आर फोर and clearly these six figures this 30 33 right 41 58 66 69 all these six figures are distinct that means the age is the age of the all four ladies will be different right let us assume without loss of generality that a is the smallest age then b then c then d right so d is the eldest lady right so this is the ages that we have assumed a for the youngest lady and then b then c then d right so clearly these are the sum of all possible pairs right so by this we can make some equations right what will be the shortest sum 30 is given this, this will be that sum na a plus b that should be 30 so what should be the largest sum c plus d right so c plus d that will be 69 आई होप ये क्लियर हो रहा होगा 
so that that simply means if we add these for uh, these two equations we will get a plus b plus c plus d that is equals to 99 this also gives us the sum of ages of all the four ladies that is 99 as you can also see 33 plus 66 is also 99 41 plus 58 is also 99 and that should be the case right so what will be the uh, second smallest sum apart from a plus b this will definitely be a plus c because b plus c will obviously be greater than a plus c so a plus c should be 33 as we have assumed that means b plus d this will be the, the second largest sum this should be how much this should be 66 right so i hope you will understand now the third pair is third pair a plus d now a is the smallest stage and d is the largest stage but uh, we cannot decode ki a plus d or b plus c may say kon bada hoga Anna? we cannot decode this we a plus d can be 41 a plus d can also be 58 because one is smallest and one is largest so either b plus c will uh, will dominate or a, a plus d will dominate right so here we need to make two cases right so these two equations will be for sure true right but for third equation we need to make two cases right so let's make two cases and let us write these equations once again okay so we have decoded we have decoded uh, a plus b uh, assumed this is equals to 30 and a plus c we have assumed to be 33 right so parallelly what we got c plus d we got this to be 69 the largest is Hana. and uh, this b plus d the second largest is that was 66 right now in the first case if a plus d if a plus d is let's say 41 right then obviously this b plus c this will be 58 right and also one thing which we have decoded is a plus b plus c plus d that was 99 that is sum of uh, the ages of all the ladies that was 99 now if you add these three equations what you will get you will get twice of a plus a plus b plus c plus d right a is basically three times and b plus c plus d and this is nothing but 30 plus 33 plus 41 right and since we know the value of a plus b plus c plus d this is nothing but 99 so 2a comes out to be how much this 63 and uh, 41 104 minus this 99 that is 5 so a will be nothing but a will be 2.5 right the, the, the age of the youngest lady is 2.5 so we can see what will be the age of b from the first equation we can decode uh, the age of b will be how much 27.5 right now what will be the age of c from this equation we can say the age of c will be simply 30.5 right so what will be the age of d we can say from this equation that should be 38.5 right so this was the uh, this was one of the solution but uh, uh, let us also case, uh, consider the case number two in which a plus d will be simply equals to how much 58 right so uh, this is one of the possible solution ha huh, uh, you can say that if we assume that the ages should be natural number so we can simply ignore this solution because uh, this solution comes out to be of uh, rational values right so let's consider the second case again a plus b for sure that should be uh, 30 and similarly this c plus d that should be for sure 69 right so similarly a plus c will be the second sh uh, shortest is uh, second shortest sum that is 33 and again b plus d will be the second largest right that should be 66 these two equations were definitely for sure to decode kar diya tha. now let us consider a plus d to be 58 so this b plus c this will become how much 41 now if you add up these three equations again we also have one more equation a plus b plus c plus d that is nothing but that is 99 right so let us consider this case number two in which a plus d is 58 now again adding these three equations what we will get twice of a plus a plus b plus c plus d which is 99 that comes out to be how much 30 plus 33 plus 58 right so this 2a this comes out to be nothing but uh, 63 plus i guess 1 21 
minus 99 right so this a comes out to be 11 right i hope this is clear so if by substituting the value of a in this equation we will get b b comes out to be 19 by substituting the value of a in this equation we will get c c simply comes out to be 33 minus 11 which is nothing but 22 right and if we simply substitute the value of a that is 11 in this equation we will get the value of d and that comes out to be how much 47 right so you can see you can check the sum of all the equation this should comes to be uh, 99 yes this is coming to be 99 right so this is the second possible solution yes we can assume that since it is nowhere mentioned that the uh, ages of the that the age of the ladies should be a natural number but let's consider that if uh, that is if we ignore the fact that the uh, age cannot be rational number so this will be the second possible solution right Right, I hope this question will come in So you can say the question is easy, but we had to decode this question a Again, in this question, there is no such concept uh, which a 8th standard or 9th standard student cannot do. Right? This is simple question of logic. We have to solve some simple equations, simple linear equations, and you can find the ages of the individual ladies. Right? Chalo, let's proceed to the next question, question number 8. This is a very easy question. I guess this is the easiest question of 1990. And uh, in fact, this is the easiest question of among uh, of all the RMO exam that have occurred till date, right? The question is saying if the circumcenter and centroid of a triangle coincide, prove that the triangle must be equilateral, right? So let's prove this uh, question. Let's first draw a, a triangle, right? It is saying if the circumcenter and centroid of a triangle coincide, let's say this is a triangle ABC. Okay. What is centroid? Let's assume D is the midpoint of BD and AD is the median. So the centroid basically lies on median and in fact centroid divides it in the ratio of 2 ratio 1. Let's assume G is the centroid, right? And since achha, here we have assumed that D is median, not exactly assumption. This is for the fact that centroid always lies on a median. So BD is basically equals to DC. Also, it is saying circumcenter is the same point that of centroid. So this is also circumcenter, right? So if this is circumcenter, then this thing GD, that is CD, this should be perpendicular also, right? Now if you consider triangle ABD and triangle ACD, you can easily prove that these two triangles are congruent. Why AD is common in both the triangles, right? BD equals to DC. Why? Because AD is simply median. And simply this angle ADB that is equal to angle ADC which is right angle. Right? And why it is right angle? Because uh, this GD which is circumcenter to the midpoint this is also the perpendicular bisector of BC. Why perpendicular bisector? Because this is the definition of circumcenter that perpendicular bisectors of all the sides will con will be concurrent, right? So we can say by side angle side property, these two triangles are congruent. Since these two triangles are congruent, then this will imply simply AB equals to AC, right? So by similarly proceeding with the same logic, if you take the median and circumcenter from this side, uh, from point B, right? From point B, then you can also prove that this AB will be equals to BC by extending the same logic, right? Same logic, ko agar hum extend karenge, we'll sim we can simply prove that AB will be equals to BC. So this will implies AB equals to BC equals to AC. That is all the three sides of the triangle are equal and hence the triangle must be equilateral triangle, right? So this was very easy question of uh, RMO 1990. So guys, that's it uh, from today's session, our RMO uh, flashback 1990 years question number seven and question number eight. Right in the next uh, next uh, lecture, we will be discussing first two questions of year 1991. And again, before ending the session, let me again remind you, we are currently running pre-RMO, RMO, INMO batches here at Vedantu. These batches are totally free of cost. 
those who haven't appeared for pre rmo yet or unfortunately uh, are not able to clear pre rmo last year they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com and they can simply uh, register themselves for the batches of pre rmo these batches are totally free of course and those who have already cleared pre rmo and or rmo exam last year they just simply mail me their name class proof contact number and address to this email id chetan.garg at vedantu.com right those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you to the rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches right so that's it uh, from my side guys thank you bye bye see you in the next session bye bye